Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video we are going to be doing just a little bit of decorating, um, just a little bit of a refresh. I did just recently purchase some new items um, at Hobby Lobby and um, at an antique store when we were in, in New York. If you did not see that vlog, check that video out. Um, I'll have it linked for you down below. But I got some new items and I'm really excited to get them styled in my house. I also recently um, picked up a couple of things from Target and I popped into Michael's um, just on a whim. Honestly, it was because the Marshalls and Home Goods was not open yet, so I needed to fill that time. And so the Michaels was open, so I popped into there and actually grabbed a couple of things from there as well. So um, you might hear Danny mowing the lawn in the background. It is, you know, summer. This is what we're doing. So things are in full force, but I'm really excited to get these things styled. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's a look at what I'm working with today. This basket here is the basket that I recently um, went uh, through with you guys. I did just pick up a new uh, cookbook, so I've got that there as well. This is my Michael's order and some things I got from Marshalls slash Home Goods. This is also Michael's stuff. And then Target, I got a new lamp to go in my entryway. So this is what I'm gonna be working with today. Just looking forward to refreshing some decor and um, yeah, just getting things, you know, looking nice for the rest of summer. So let's get moving. So forgive me for the lighting, but the first thing I wanna start with is this crock here in uh, my dining room. Let me try to get it from this other angle where the light is coming in this direction. Um, but as you can see here, these uh, flowers have lived their last day. Um, and these are, it's time for them to go. So they, what, it was just a beautiful like uh, bouquet from the grocery store that was actually gifted to me. And then I did pick up the eucalyptus to add in there. I just feel like that makes everything feel a little bit more elevated. Um, so we're gonna empty this out, and my plan is to put those new hydrangea that we picked up into this crock. So let's see how that looks. because that way it's a little bit closer to me. What I love about these stems, um, besides the color, when I first saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're so fluorescent, but in this space, they just look beautiful and alive, and I, I don't know, I really, really love them. I actually went back and got more. Um, but if you know anything about hydrangea, you know that they grow new stems on old stems. So that is what this looks like. So it looks like you've got your old stem here and then all your new growth, um, which I think is so realistic looking. So I'm excited to put these in this crock and my thought is for them to kind of like fall to the side, you know? So um, hydrangeas get really heavy and so they kind of like lean a little bit. So I am going to, I don't know if I'm gonna cut these, they're really thick. Um, but I'm definitely going to need to make them a heck of a lot, sh a lot shorter. So like pretty much in half. Okay, so I just kind of bent it into like a Z, which is kind of okay, we'll see. Sometimes it helps to give you a little bit more stability, like when you put them in here. I don't know if that's gonna fit. Ooh. Okay. It might be still too tall. Let's see if we do this one a little bit shorter. Okay. So 
that I think is a little better. So we're actually gonna shorten this one a little bit more. Now getting them to all kind of situate in here is going to be tricky. I might actually have to trim these. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. They're so thick. I'm wondering if I should do one more. Um, like if I should do um, four in here instead of three. And I'm just kind of moving them, trying to give them a little life. Um, I don't know, we're gonna put it on the table and we're gonna take a look to decide if we need one more stem in there. Um, Let's go put it on the table and see. Okay, I do think that they look absolutely stunning. However, I do think that one more branch with maybe a little bit of height would be perfect. So I'm gonna add one more. Okay, so I added the fourth um, stem and I think that that is perfect. I think they're so pretty. They bring such a nice pop of color for the summer and they really, I like how they kind of like fill out and kind of spill. Um, really, really pretty. Normally I have a candle right here, but it is burning right now. So loving how this looks and let's move on to the next thing. Okay. So the next piece of decor that I want to get hung up is this adorable cutting board that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, if you did not see that video, check it out. I found some really great items. So my thought is to hang it here on this little bit of wall that I have right here. I have this great picture on the other side um, that I also picked up at Hobby Lobby many years ago, probably five or six years ago. Um, but I think that I would like to have something on this side. I just think it would look really pretty. And I just think that this would look really pretty up there. So we're gonna hang it with command hooks or command strips because then if I hate it, we can take it down, no big deal, there's no damage. Um, and I don't have to worry about measuring or anything that just gets done really, really easily. Okay, so here it is. I think I love it. I have to get used to it because I'm so used to there not being anything on this wall, but I do think that it's really, really pretty and just kind of fills the space and evens it out with this one on the other. that I'm gonna um, try to find a spot for 
here in the kitchen. Um, this picture is the one I picked up at the antique store and I'm thinking I want to replace this one, uh, the copper pitcher, just for something a little bit different for the summer. Um, and we'll see what we're gonna put in there. I, When I originally um, bought this, I thought I would put those gorgeous limelight hydrangea in here, but that would be ridiculous to have them like right across from each other. Or would it? I don't know, they're just so pretty. But I, I do wanna save those stems for my entryway, but I think I might try to use these, like this greenery that I have here, um, or something else, we'll see. Um, I have that new cookbook that I was telling you guys about. I have some new towels that I picked up at um, Marshalls uh, slash Home Goods today. I've got that really sweet pinch pot that I told you about, um, the little rolling pin uh, decor, and the new spoon rest. So um, I would like to find a home for all of these items. These, all of these items I just think are so cozy and they just, um, they make me want to be at home and I am home. Today was my last work day, so I am home now for the summer and I get to enjoy it. So I want to make it really, really pretty so that I just get that dose of dopamine every time I walk around my house. So let's find a spot for all of these. obsessed with this so much it's that same picture so let me just pick it up for you here it's that same picture and I believe that all of these faux florals are from Michaels uh, the eucalyptus this is faux although it looks so real and I believe that these are some kind of like faux peony I think I don't know I've had them forever but don't those look so pretty? So the key to these, honestly, friends, is to make them, like have these pieces kind of like spilling out so that you're, you're looking at um, an arrangement that is like wide, not just tall. You want this wide. And I just think it looks 
stunning with the backdrop of the kitchen. It's giving me kind of like Tuscan vibes. I don't know, but I am just obsessed. I think I'm gonna have a hard time deciding which one I love more, this or the limelight hydrangea in the crock on the table. It is so pretty, you guys. Another thing I picked up today at Michael's is this great five cup, 40 ounce measuring pitcher. Um, it reminded me a lot of the antique pitcher that I just picked up with the stripes. I am loving the stripes right now, the ticking stripe. Um, I've always really loved it, but I just feel like it's so cottage, farmhouse, I don't know, but this is so pretty. It was not on sale. It's $14.99, um, but it was not on sale. It's part of the fall line. Um, so I had a coupon, so that is what I used. But it was not on sale, but I just thought it was so pretty. And again, one of those things I think would look gorgeous with some flowers. And I think it might actually look really pretty over in my coffee bar. So this might find its way over to that area um, when I do a refresh over there. But so pretty. Okay, so moving from the kitchen that I am obsessed with to the entryway, we're gonna work on my entryway table. So here's how it's currently looking. It's not bad at all. Um, I kept it really simple for uh, patriotic decor, 4th of July, but I've had this lamp here forever since I moved in. Um, it's a lamp that I picked up at um, Goodwill and I painted it with chalk paint and um, baking soda to kind of give it like a clay look. And then I did buy the lamp shade, um, I think at Walmart, but you know, it's very pretty. I just wanted something a little bit less green. <laughs> so we're gonna move, we're gonna take the lamp away. Um, I'm gonna remove the patriotic decor. We might bring the flag back, we'll see. But um, we're gonna remove that and we're gonna kind of start fresh. Also, this vase, which I'm sure somebody's going to ask about, I actually picked up at Home Goods, at that same Marshall's Home Goods I was at today. And it was this really orange um, color and I painted it with a um, kind of creamy colored chalk paint and I think it looks really, really pretty. I've always wanted one of those really beautiful anthropology vases, but um, you know, I'm kind of frugal. So <laughs> this is my version of that, uh, that vase. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off, clear it off, and then we're going to start fresh.
Alexa, turn off the entryway light. Okay, so here is the lamp. Just this nice, simple, like white ceramic. It's got some detail to it. And then I did pick up just a linen shade. And what I really like about it is it just feels very like slim, you know what I mean, compared to the bigger lamp. Um, we do have it plugged into a smart plug, so um, I can turn it on and off from anywhere in the house. Okay, again, I am living for the limelight hydrangeas. Holy cow. They are just so pretty. Please forgive the screaming upstairs. The neighbor boy is in now, so the boys are upstairs having a blast. But, wow. Those just look so pretty and fresh and perfect for summer. All right, let's figure out what else we're going to put on here. So another item that I recently picked up is this cloche here from Michaels. Um, it's kind of a dupe for one that I see on decor steels all the time that is never available. <laughs> um, it does have, I think, a B at the top. I think that's what this is. Um, and it is galvanized. I think I would prefer a different color, but now that I'm seeing it on here, I actually kind of love it. So I did have to force a little fern in there. It is a real fern, so that's gonna be fun trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to water that bad boy very carefully. Um, but that's because the lid is attached and I tried to get it off, but it is like attached, attached. So that's okay. I still think it looks really, really beautiful. Um, however, now I need to figure out how I can elevate the lamp and add a little something over here. Okay, so I just added in this coffee table book and a candle. I will say I don't think that that's height enough. I think it needs another book, a bigger book like underneath it, but that's all I have for right now. So this is what it's looking like right now. I think it's really, really pretty and fresh, and I think it's great to get us through the rest of summer until we start busting out the fall decor. So, like I said, I do think I need one more bigger um, coffee table book. Uh, so I'll keep my eye out on for those. Those are always at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target. Um, but other than that, I am loving how this is looking. Okay, so the next thing I'm thinking I'd like to work on is this area down here. I don't really want to change a whole bunch. I just want to use this big basket. So I'm going to move that. I'm going to like rearrange this over here and just kind of make this bigger basket go on this side so it kind of balances out the big vase that's down there. The sun is going down, so I'm rapidly running out of light. But let's go ahead and get that down there um, and see how that looks. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is replace this one over here. When I originally bought this basket, that is what I thought I would do with it. Is that going to fit? I have to put the roller somewhere else. <laughs> um, this is actually 
actually a blanket that my mom made for me. She crocheted it and I love it. I think it's so pretty. Is that good? Does it need a pillow? Okay, so I'm kind of living for the basket right there with the blanket and the pillow. Looks super sweet and soft and comfortable. I actually stole the pillow from the sofa from right over there. <laughs> but you don't see it from this direction, so I just feel like this is a better use of it. I don't know, it looks really pretty and I can just grab another one. So, And over here as well is probably hands down my favorite antique find ever. And that is this chair. I showed you guys this in my last antique shop with me. I just, it's everything. It's so pretty next to that sideboard. Like, love, love, love. Okay, one more thing. Okay, so the last thing is this basket. I snagged this from Michael's. It was 50% um, off because it's summer. So $19.99, but 50% off. So $10, plus I had a voucher, $5 voucher, so it cost me $5, even better. And it's a water hyacinth um, basket, very similar to the one that I have up currently, which is where I wanna put it. Um, however, it is like a different shape, a slightly different color. I do like the really warm color of this one that's up right now. This is from Hobby Lobby, but I just, I've stared at it now for a year and I just kind of want to switch it up and then I'll switch it back. That's kind of how we roll. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in. I'm going to keep the same eucalyptus and we'll see how that looks. Okay, this looks really sweet. I really like it. I like having something different. I've had that same basket, like I said, for quite some time. Um, and I just think this looks really, really pretty. My initial intention when I bought that basket was to hang it on my front door. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just have to get some stems for inside, but loving this. I think it's really sweet and it's fun to just kind of have something different. Okay, my friends, that brings us to the end of another video. I hope that you had fun coming along with me and styling my new items. It's always fun to refresh your decor. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Coming back for more, I try to post two to three videos every single week on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.